This week's test ride is going to require everyone to reset their perception meter. Arctic Cat's all-new Procross chassis, powered by their 125 horsepower, 1100 cc four-stroke mill, has diametrically altered our perceptions of what a four-stroke snowmobile should be. So you better hang on because it's likely going to alter your perceptions as well. If you take one thing away from this exclusive Snow Tracks test ride of Arctic Cat's new Procross F1100, it should be this. This engine in this chassis comes as close to mimicking a 600 class two-stroke as any four-stroke we've tested. There's one more thing you'll pick up on as well. The new Procross is nothing, zip, nada, like the old F chassis. The Procross gives off a feathery light feel despite the presence of an 1100cc four-stroke twin under hood. The sled out accelerates, out handles, and out rides the old chassis to the degree nobody around here, after just one ride, missed the point. This is a clean sheet of paper for Arctic Cat. So we sound pretty pumped about the new F1100. And we are, but it's about more than just lightweight. The old F body struggled with understeer or push throughout its six year tenure. However, the new Procross Radical Tall Spindle IFS completely erases this trait. Turn-in is now linear, positive, and very confidence inspiring. The Procross chassis moves the rider further forward than its predecessor and in doing so has improved ergonomics exponentially. The bars fall readily to hand and tight footrests lock you in for the ride. Sight lines over the short hood are excellent and most similar to Skidoo's XP. The seat is both super comfortable and narrow enough to allow for rider gymnastics. In fact, there's quite a bit going on here our testers felt was familiar to both the XP and Polaris Rush Pro Ride chassis, not the least of which is the aforementioned seating position. From a handling perspective, the Procross chassis gets big praise around here. Turn-in is linear and positive, most similar to a Skidoo XP. However, when you get to the edge and to the limit and the inside ski starts to come up, we think the handling is more similar to a Rush. The bottom line is this, the Procross chassis is confidence inspiring and never lifts the inside ski more than the rider actually dials in. Suspension from Arctic Cat's floating front arm, torque sensing link, rear arm skid is excellent. This skid is known for amazing response in jigglers and can swallow severe G outs with finesse. The lack of rear skid tires disappoints us. We're into back tires. However, the sturdy and lightweight barrel rear idler truck is a slick innovation. As well, the CNC'd carved up look of the lightened rails gets high marks. Speaking of looks, we need to make it 100% clear. We feel this is the hands down, best looking snowmobile in the biz. Arctic Cat stylists have captured the essence of a broad shouldered American muscle car while keeping the overall appearance of the Procross visually lithe, lean, and very clean. There's just no getting away from it. This is one horny looking snowmobile, and just about everyone who sees it comments on how balanced, proportioned, and trim it appears. Even better is the improvement in fit and finish and the obvious improvement in build quality. We even love the way they've stamped Procross into the pyramidal tunnel. Under hood, the Procross uses Arctic Cat's innovative torque control link, which permanently locks the center to center distance of the drive clutch and the driven clutch together. You may think we're nuts, however, we can actually feel the positive transfer of power this groundbreaking engineering brings to the Procross. It's as if your right thumb and the track are now linked into one unit. There's no rubbery feel when you whack the loud handle and put power to the snow. Belt life is not just better with TCL, it is dramatically improved. There's only a couple of things we're not impressed with on the new Procross. It might just be time for Arctic Cat to lose the green. In fact, this sled looks so much better in black and white, and they could completely erase that ditch pickle thing with a move to orange and black. In fact, we think orange should be the new green. The other issue we have with the F1100 is its handle. Why continue using the letter F anywhere on this sled? It conjures up images of the old F chassis, and that's something we don't ever think of while piloting the new Procross. As you can tell, there's not much to complain about with the new F1100. We've had enough time on this new chassis to know Arctic Cat has moved the ball forward in a substantial way. 
Every area of evaluation we've subjected the new Procross to has shown not just improvement over the old F chassis, but exponential improvement in performance, rideability, handling, and comfort. It's being said, Arctic Cat has the most loyal customers amongst all the OEMs. And while we think that's true, the new Procross is going to reach much further into the market than just to the Arctic Cat faithful. The Procross is good enough to attract buyers, lots of buyers, from the other camps. Count on it.